what can you do to make sure that you have a business that is sellable or is maybe going up in value, especially in an environment like this. Hey, welcome back to Builder Funnel TV. In today's video, we are gonna talk about inflation. Now, this is something that has been all over the news and you'll see uh, varying numbers and stats and different points of view, but I wanted to talk about it in the context of what I'm seeing and how it's impacting our industry in terms of residential construction. So first things first, um, you know, material costs are going up. Uh, you know, we've seen, you know, lumber go way up and then it's come back down. Um, and then we've seen all kinds of other things um, in terms of just the raw materials that go into either building a new home or remodeling, whether it's windows, you know, door siding, you know, metals, all those types of things. So we're seeing costs going up there. And then we're also seeing, you know, labor costs going up because there's huge demand on the industry um, and not enough, you know, supply of labor. So that's going up as well. And so really what this forces you to do is raise your prices. Otherwise your margins are just going to get eroded really, really quickly. Um, but I want to dive into some of the numbers. Um, basically in May, they came out and said uh, the CPI, which is the um, consumer price index, which basically is one way to try to track along with and measure inflation. They said that was up uh, 5% in May. But if you do a little more digging and you actually look into that number and you're trying to figure out, okay, what are they measuring? They, they oftentimes don't include certain things in that number. Um, and so it gets a little bit skewed. Based on what I've kind of uncovered, I actually think that we're probably closer to eight to 10% in terms of what that real inflation number is. And I don't know what you're seeing, but I would encourage you to just look at your uh, material costs, your labor costs, some of those types of things, and look at what it was a year ago or you know, 15 months ago, and what is it today, and see what those increases are. And that'll give you a, a real sense of your own personal situation for your business on what, uh, what that is and what you're feeling there. But, based on inflation being on the rise, whether it's 5%, 8 or 10% or whatever it is, um, you know, the value of cash is going down because you're able to buy less with that. So there's just kind of economics 101, but if you have high inflation, the value of the currency, whatever it is, uh, goes down. It's still a dollar is a dollar, but the di dollar buys less uh, than it used to. But what we're also seeing is that, you know, assets go up. You know, so if you have real estate, you've probably seen that go up. If you have stocks or anything like that or cryptocurrency. So, you know, when you think about an inflationary environment, assets and their value tend to go up because they're in comparison to what they're valued in comparison to the currency. And if the, the value of the currency is going down, then that's where you see those prices start to go um, up. Businesses can also be an asset. So depending on, you know, your business and the valuation then that might be on the rise as well. Obviously, that only really benefits you if you're planning to sell the business. Um, and that kind of brings me to what we wanna talk about, which is what can you do to make sure that you have a business that is sellable or is maybe going up in value, especially in an environment like this. And really, this was kind of all triggered when I was diving into you know, inflation and that topic. I also saw an article that was put out by Hanley Wood. And that article talked about basically that there are private uh, investment groups, private equity firms that are actually now looking at remodeling and home improvement companies. Whereas typically you would see those companies really only focused in tech and a lot of that innovation that's going on. They would, you know, let's drop a million dollars into these hundred different companies and we hope one of them becomes Facebook and even if the other 99 lose, they still make out uh, really, really well. But now these firms are actually starting to look at the remodeling and home improvement space. And so um, they're starting to acquire certain companies and firms and consolidate and do some, some things where they can see, hey, this, maybe this industry is actually ripe for uh, opportunity with economies of scale um, and some of those other types of things. But probably they're also seeing uh, the trend and the demand uh, for obviously all the, the services that people are looking for. So just a few thoughts in terms of, okay, how do you make your company more valuable? We're in an inflationary environment, but maybe there's also opportunity if you want to ever sell your business. So how do we um, put some things in place where you can make your business more valuable 
um, with kind of both of these forces going on. First things first is, hey, if you have cash, that is a good place to take that and invest it into marketing and sales and marketing and sales systems. So if you think about your business, uh, typically a service-based business is only as good as its systems because otherwise somebody could just say, hey, I'm gonna go start that business and really all they need is you know, a truck and some tools and um, they can start doing what you do. So it's the systems and the process and especially marketing and sales because that's what's gonna drive the revenue machine. And so it, sure, somebody could go start a business today but if they have no leads and they have no projects then you know, it's gonna be tough for them to compete. But if you have a really strong marketing and sales system that produces things regularly, that creates value in your business. Um, so it's all about um, systematizing those, but then also the next phase is kind of replacing yourself. And typically the hardest part is um, you know, sales. A lot of times the owner is in the sales role, and so you're looking for, okay, how do I turn marketing into a system to generate enough leads, but then I can hire a salesperson, then I can train them on how to walk somebody through the process. And then once you've done that, you actually start to remove yourself, and that's where you start to add real value into your business. Otherwise, you're just kind of working in the business. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're thinking about it in the context of trying to create uh, as much value within your business, then that would be the path there. The other thing that I always think about too is, you know, in times like this, um, it can be tempting to just try to expand, expand, expand. Uh, I think that's smart in some areas. You want to look for the opportunity. You want to um, land the right projects, make sure you're closing those at the right margins. But my other point here is don't take on unnecessary overhead. Uh, we don't know what the future holds. And so the worst thing we could do is go, hey, everything's just running really good. Everything's great. And then you take on a whole bunch new overhead and then boom, you know, next month or two months from now, you know, everything kind of changes and maybe leads dry up. And now you're kind of stuck with this, uh, you know, all these expenses that you're having to pay. So I would say, you know, try to look for ways to scale up without having to add a ton of overhead or maybe it's overhead that can scale up and down easily. You know, I think about um, something like that would be, you know, a software uh, that you use. And maybe if you have 10 people, you pay for 10 seats. And if you have 20 people, you pay for 20 seats. Well, if you have 15 people and you have to drop, like you can cancel those five seats, you know, so that's not something that you're going to have to pay for, you know, 12 months or, or something like that. So think about how you can scale overhead, but maybe if you need to, how can you scale it back really quickly, um, but just don't overextend yourself there. And then the other thing is, if you aren't really thinking about your business as, hey, I wanna build a ton of value into this because I wanna sell it, maybe the other way to think about it is, hey, I'm just gonna um, take any profits from the business <clears throat> and I'm gonna go invest it in other assets because I know we've got inflationary environment here and assets are going up, so instead of building value in terms of, hey, I need to sell my business for a higher price, I'm just gonna take that cash and invest it into assets and push it that way. So hopefully these just kind of give you a few different things to think about as we're kind of in this environment where um, there's a lot of money printing, it feels like costs are on the rise and we're seeing inflation um, and it's impacting personalized businesses uh, all across the board. So I think it's just uh, important for us to all take a step back and look for the opportunities or the ways that we can maybe um, benefit from these things because we can't really control um, some of these external forces that you know, um, really we just don't have control over them. So we might as well just ride whatever the trend is and the wave is. Um, so hopefully this helps. And with that, we'll see you next time here on Builder Funnel TV.